Hi everybody, welcome to Deb's Way. I'm Deb, and you are here for hashtag Tea Tuesday. I've got iced tea here. My eyes have kind of melted. I don't know why, it's not that hot out. We've been having some cooler weather lately. Very cool, like almost cold for this area. Some of you noticed, and some of you commented to me, that, you, well, you noticed last week I didn't do any videos. Nope, I didn't. Um, everything's fine here. You know, there's no problems. It's just that we've been busy here, and busy to the point where, well, it we've been exhausted by the end of the day. I mean, really, super, super tired. We've been getting ready for Christmas and think. Well, okay, first of all, we've been getting ready for Thanksgiving and then Christmas. Um, basically for Thanksgiving, just getting the house in order. We're not entertaining this year. Um, it's going to be a quiet time at home for us. And up until this morning, we were going to be having ham from Honey Baked Ham. But William decided, hey, you know what? We'll just get a couple chicken breasts at the grocery store tomorrow, hopefully, and have that for our dinner with some veggies too. It's just going to be a, a nice dinner at home. And then, um, matter of fact, what I'm going to be using to cook in is something new for us. Something that William decided we had to get, and I made supper in it the other night. Let me show you right here what I got. Dinner tonight is going to be a new dinner for us. Marie Callender's Shrimp Fajita Meals. And there they are. They don't look like much right now, but they're still frozen. i got to read the directions. We've never had these before. Okay. I do need to cut the film. Okay. So let me do that and get these dinners on a cookie sheet. And, well, first of all, let me show you what I'm going to be baking them in. Remember, oh, a couple weeks ago I cleaned off my pantry counter. It was looking really good. And then William decided we needed to have something like a little oven back here for backup. Well, we have it now. This is an Oster digital, it's an extra large oven. I've used it once before to make some chocolate chip cookies and it was my mistake that I, well there's a light that stays on in here all the time while it's baking and, oh, it's going to start baking here. and. Uh, what was I saying? Oh dear. The cookies, when they went for like 10 minutes, say, okay, to me they didn't look quite done. So I put them on for another like two minutes, and at that point when I took them out, they were a little bit burnt on the bottom. So it was my fault. I should have taken them out at that first time. But anyway, that was the first thing I made in the oven. Now we're going to try this Marie Callender's TV dinner. Let me get the dinner set up to go in the oven. All right, I got my dinner set up here in a baking tin. Let me open the oven here. Oh, that's another thing too. You just have to pull the one door and it opens both wide open. Very nice feature. Oh, another thing that I realized that I did when I was baking the cookies is that I had the, or rather I had the rack down low uh -huh. and not up high, like in the middle. So it was down low near the um, uh -huh. the heating element. And that could be another reason why the bottom of the cookies burnt. Could be. But the dinners are in. Pause. I'm gonna lengthen this time because it's been going for a while here on bake. I wanna make it 35 minutes. There we go, that's good enough. The directions say to bake it for 35 to 38 minutes, so we'll come back in half an hour and see what, how, what they're doing. Hopefully, 
we have dinner tonight. <laughs> okay, I'll bring it back. Okay. The timer has gone off. Let me see here. Let me see if I can pull a dinner out. Well, let me pull a tray. Ooh, okay. They look done to me. I think we're gonna eat. Yeah, a new little oven. It works beautifully. Um, I've baked cookies in it, you know, since then. That was the first thing I made in it, actually. It was my fault that I burnt the bottom because I, I thought that it looked like the cookies weren't done enough. And so I let them cook a couple minutes longer and that was long, longer than long enough, okay? So the cookies burnt and that was my fault. Since then, I've baked other things in it. This dinner was the next thing, and then other cookies since. Fine. Everything turns out beautifully. So I haven't used any other feature in it except baking. And I'm going to keep... It will air fry and dehydrate, bake, slow cook. But as far as air frying goes, well, I cook up a lot of bacon and stuff that splatters. I'd rather keep that oven clean or cleaner than anything. And so I, I do the air frying. I do the bacon in the air fryer. Anything that will splatter in the air fryer. So, okay. So that was another thing that I had to get used to working. And that's how we're going to cook our Thanksgiving dinner. Now, as far as other things, Typically, the night of Thanksgiving Day, or Thanksgiving night otherwise, we light the Christmas lights in the house decorations. So we started moving in the decorations from the storage shed and setting up the decorations throughout the house. Now for the past couple of years, I've kind of cut down on the decorating, and this year we cut down even more, but it has still been a chore. And it's, it's funny that, well, not funny maybe, but strange that the idea of hauling the Christmas decorations out of storage every year and bringing them to the house is, is such a lot of work and a, a drudgery. But once we get things in place, it all looks really nice to us and we really enjoy it and love it. Christmas is a favorite time of year for William and I. One main reason is because we did get married during this week of Christmas. So it is extra special to us. And we do, we do decorate, you know, with, oh, I'm looking at some of the decorations I've got up here now, which you will see too once we have the official lighting. And I call it our official lighting of the Christmas tree and the lights around the house here. But I have yet to finish decorating the Christmas tree, but I'm very slow and getting slower with each year too, I find. And getting up on that ladder is a little bit harder each year. So I told William, we need to make it easier next year. So things have got to change a little bit. We still will decorate. We love the decorations, but it's got to get a little easier. So, but we've been working at that. And then I've been attending a sewing class, which I thoroughly enjoy. And as a matter of fact, I did record a little bit. Let me show you right here. I'm here where I'm supposed to be. Do you know where that's at? I know where that's at. Anyway, I'm getting ready to go in. It is busy traffic here along this road, noisy traffic too, but this is another happy place of mine. And I'm here early for class. Yes, I'm at sewing studio. I'm gonna go in and shop around a little bit. I don't really need to get anything, but you know, you always have to look. You just never know what you might find and absolutely have to have. So let me go in. the instructor and the class and our visitor is still on the laptop little what is that on the tablet 
back out instead of going to sleep. I'm in so the classroom and board. we have a visitor. And, and then I was like, fine, you just stay up. <laughs> yeah, one thirty. I told her it's not going to go up. Just go back to bed. I'll wake you up if they change it. And <laughs> no. They, they, right, at, right when I sent her to bed, they announced they were going to start the oh. countdown again. I'm like, all right, come back out. Well, she's tuning everything out. Look at this. This is pretty. With splendor. Oh, my. Oh, November 8th. Well, kind of missed that one already. That's the quilt, though. Pretty, pretty. But then the day after the class, I had to actually finish up what we started in class. We got the majority of the item made, you know, the project finished, but not everybody finished the placements that we were working on and or that we had started in class. So yeah, I had to finish that up here at home. I did that and I finished up another sewing project, which I will show everybody in my Friday film as hashtag Friday Sews. But other than that, we have been staying close to home because the Temperatures have been very cold. We've had very wet, rainy weather, very dreary outside, but miserably chilly, yeah. Now, chilly to us is like in the 50s and 60s, 40s overnight, that's cold. It was, it was bitterly cold, really, for a few days or a few nights. So we stayed close to home, didn't do much outside, not much to talk about. But that's, that's what we've done so far this week, and part of last week. Now somebody also wanted me to show these um, the storage pictures that we bought off of, I believe it was QVC, that I have, I'm using as my, like my canister set for flour and sugar, and I'm, I'll be using it for tea bags too in the future. Uh, we did have to rearrange things from the kitchen pantry counter to make room for the oven, but the canister set is in the cupboards overhead. So I'm going to show that now as far as like this person wanted to know how you work the lids and, and you know how you pour from it and that sort of thing. They're really handy little pitchers that have a handle on it, which is wonderful. You can just pour things if you want or open the lid and spoon things out, measuring out what you need, you know. Very useful, handy, and it fits in the cupboard very nicely. Stacking in the cupboard, as a matter of fact. So let me show you here what that person asked me to do regarding these little pictures. We are in my kitchen pantry right now, and a viewer did ask about the storage canisters that we recently bought. I had them in a corner over here before the oven arrived, <laughs> and I had them stacked there. Now, William moved them for me, and I just assumed they were still stacked, but he moved them up to the cupboard here. They're not quite stacked on top of each other, but there's room for them in here. And they're really handy. This is sugar. Real handy to pull out by the handle there. I love the handle, and when you're Measuring, you have to unsnap this. It's very secure. Those weren't on tight for some reason. There you can get into it. And you can either pour what you want out, or I do have a cup spoon here. You can go in and get what you need. I really do like these storage containers. They're very useful for me and will keep things nice and fresh. And now, out of sight. Well, that's about it for this Tea Tuesday, really. Not too much else going on around here. Matter of fact, this, this whole month was going to be full of sewing classes for me, but two of the classes were canceled, well, postponed. The instructor had a health issue, and so now the, that class is being combined into one day and it's going to be held on a Saturday at the beginning of January, which I like better. It was going to be a night class and I, I don't do well at, <laughs> at night. It's like 
it's, I wouldn't say it's night blindness, but I don't like driving at night. And I just, I don't like being out and around at night anymore. Not like when I was younger, you know, hey, times change when you get older, definitely. But anyway, now for the rest of November, I don't have any other class to go to. I can take it easy during the holiday, which is wonderful. In early December, I start up with my sewing classes and I'll be busy with a couple classes up until Christmas time actually. But my decorating will be all done. I can sit back and relax with that. And as far as I know, we're just going to plan a quiet dinner at home here on Christmas day. Um, just a, a quiet holiday. I hope you're all having a good one out there. You take care. I'll be talking to you again real soon. But for this time around, it's going to be bye for now. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody.